What's up, Earth Signs? I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel, baby. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Capricorn, Tor Torgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, let's see what's going down for the weekend. Spiritual, welcome into this reading. You must sage for the earth gods. One more time. Yes, honey. Yes, you already know I'm going to start off with Capricorn. Let's see what's going down, babies. All right. We're going to see uh, with the romance angels what you got going on off top. And then the psychic of tarot for the hard. And then we'll see what's going on between you and your partner, which you don't see possible outcomes. All right. So here we go. Romance angels off top. Stay optimistic about your love life. So some of you all could be, um, you know, needing to take a break and think about the things that you're grateful for. Okay, look how she got some food to somebody or somebody, okay, at the altar, baby. Also, calling in your soulmate, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you two together, darling. So, you could be needing to set those affirmations for what they look like, smell like, taste like. All right, definitely could be some passion here going down, Capricorn, right? Somebody could be humping, baby. So, let's see. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Let's see what's going on, babies. All right, so far, we have take the lead, darling. So, you need to be the person that's going to follow through first, all right? Show them who does it best. Okay, so uh, some of you Capricorn definitely could be just it's saying to just breathe. Stay optimistic. Take your time. But just breathe, baby. Just breathe, okay? Um, I'm also seeing here that's blossoming in the air, Capricorn. We are letting things unfold, and I love it. You guys have such gracious energy, but don't get too mad, though. Mm -hmm. It will be a whole nother story. Straight like that. But it's saying to take the lead. Things are blossoming into something better. Uh, it could be blooming into something better, all right? But just take your time and also simply love, darling. So you could be coming together with love, right? But I'm definitely seeing in the simply love and with the passion, there is someone who has passion for you that you're getting ready to deal with for the weekend. Now you're a crown chakra. You might need to take a look at that, okay? Uh, you might need to do some meditation, some mantras, things of that nature for this weekend. Definitely safe for you to breathe here as well. So you could be needing to do some yoga. All right. Take deep breaths. Take your time. So let's see what's going on with you off top. Wow. Six of wands. Two of wands. Two of wands. Yeah. So a lot of success going on, baby. Okay, you're coming into your victory. You're coming into town. All the people are watching you, darling. All the people, all the world is a stage, okay? Also seeing here, um, you guys traveling out, or you could be just waiting to see what else is coming, going to happen in your world. Um, now, I do feel like between you and your partner, it could be causing a lot of instability or a lot of anxiousness. Uh, you got the King of Wands coming in reverse. If someone could have been hurt or there was someone who had a major like epiphany or a calling that could have happened that they're needing to learn from with this judgment energy. Okay. Someone could have been doing some foolish ass behavior here too with this full energy for some of you guys. All right. So yeah, full energy. Capricorns. I feel um, this person's, their intentions is to bring in some sort of communication. They're trying to let you know that they could have possibly left the third party behind or there was something where you were traveling out or they were traveling out. 
that they've seen that they're getting ready to communicate with you about, okay? Um, I'm definitely seeing it could be the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be in their sun, moon, or rising, but um, what you don't see is that there could have been an injustice that could have happened that brought some things together, okay, uh, with this justice energy. Also, with the world, someone is trying to make it all work, okay, or make things come into a completion with the six of pentacles and also the world energy here. So uh, giving and receiving and equally taking between each other and amongst each other is what I'm seeing here. You could be dealing with a family situation. Yeah, ten of, yeah, yeah, ten of cups. So there could be, you know, just some legacy things that you're taking care of, your emotions, you know, your happiness and your fulfillment is what I'm seeing here underneath the surface. There could be someone who's coming in and out. Um, but they're definitely like, you know, trying to gear themselves toward work with that pentacle energy. Also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I feel with the page of pentacles, five of pentacles, somebody wants to come out of the cold with you. They could be like, you know, messaging each other back and forth, things of that nature. It's what you don't see. Definitely Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So let's see about possible outcomes empress energy will of fortune so some of you guys could be getting some sort of windfall of money with the ten of pentacles will of fortune energy here right next to each other there also could be someone from their past that you're wanting to have a restart or reconnection all right but it's saying to take the lead and to be um very strong about your decisions that you're getting ready to um handle okay um, I'm also seeing a very new beginning coming towards you, Capricorn. There could be a lot of communication. could be that somebody's kind of emotional here as well with this Queen of Cups. But there's a lot of communication, even on the dark side, even, you know, feeling like it could be a double-edged sword. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of major movement with that chariot energy. Um, so be aware of people in their communication because I feel like that could be an issue. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands also. The Knight of Pentacles. So some of you all could be dealing with more than one person or one, more than one partner. Um, but I feel like there's a slow action or, you know, this vice versa type of action or controversial type of action that brings you a thought of, you know, is this person going to be doing me right? Or do they need to make an action? Or are things going too slow? What are we doing here? Do I need to make money? Are they making money? That's what it looks like to me, Capricorn. So be aware of that, darlings. Okay. All right, let's see, Virgo darlings, what's going on for the weekend. Here we go. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your loved life, darling. So, Virgo, there is some financial things going on. You could be having a change of pace in your career. Okay, also forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments, darling. So, um, forgiving and learning, finances and career is a major factor. And also flirt, baby. Extend your life, hearted energy to others. So, it's saying to put that shit out there. Y'all been getting this for some time. Shit. I remember these cards. I remember Roro's motherfucking reading. So, extend yourself to somebody, okay, new. Because motherfuckers don't be talking about shit. And if you get bored with somebody, go out and flirt. Talk to something new. Talk to somebody that is interested in you. Okay. All right. Manifest. Yeah. Bring it up. Talk to it. Bring up the elements. Okay. The fire and the waters. I'm also seeing here you need to trust the situation as well. Okay. There's something that you might need to trust with this forgiving and learning. Um, I'm also seeing uh, with this joy and stability that's coming in. That's what this flirtation is going to be all about. But it's saying to trust and to manifest some things here, especially if you are in lack of uh, other things that you're wanting. One more. Open up. Yeah, so flirt, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, here we go. So it's saying to flirt, open up, open your body and your heart and your mind to new possibilities. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what's going on with you off top, Virgo. King of Wands, Four of Wands. So there could be some instabilities within the household um, or within giving into a situation. A lot of player-like activities, 
uh, for some of you guys who are just taking an action overall is what I'm seeing here. Um, there definitely could be uh, the situation between you and your partner that someone is left away. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. All right, someone who could have been traveling away or they were working while they were away. But I feel like some of you guys definitely could be dealing with two different energies. Okay, that fire and that water. What did I say? But it could be that it's a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. Whatever the case may be. <laughs> I feel between you and your partners, there could be a lot of toxic energy that you're letting go of. Five of Wands, also devil here. So someone is trying to let go of that toxic behavior, um, that obsessive behavior. Let's see what you don't see. It looks like you're trying to come out of the arguments, the disagreements, okay? Just kind of leaving that shit behind. Um, what you don't see, the temperance energy is here. So you could be trying to maintain some balance here, or there could be some balances between your world and somebody else's that you feel a little blinded to or closed off to, okay? Like you might have some limitations. But I feel what you don't see is that there could be a third-party situation with the Three of Swords energy that kind of causes somebody to break free. Or you could be just single, all right, or ready to get a peace of mind. But you're starting to see where somebody might have someone else is what I see here. Also could be that there's some sort of commitments towards somebody who's absolutely, you know, gorgeous and beautiful. But they're not really ready for long-term commitment is what I'm seeing here, okay? Or you could be getting your beautification up, whatever the case may be. Uh, possible outcomes. I do feel like there is someone spying here. Page of Swords Energy. Um, also Page of Pentacles. And Queen of Swords. So a lot of you Virgos could be cutting this energy off or somebody could be definitely putting in a little bit of footwork, a lot of immaturity as well. Okay. Or somebody who's, you know, quick to think and do some impulsive ass shit. But I feel like there's a final decision that's going to be made here. Some of you guys might be having some differences, um, you know, in your traditional belief system or in your culture or background between each other. Uh, with the death energy, I'm seeing that there could be a restart, but somebody needs to... Wake up and smell the motherfucking roses, okay? Um, there could be a possible um, new offer coming in with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, all right? Also, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be some sex offers, money offers up in this bitch. But y'all got to change the events, change the things that's happening. You could be getting some money coming in as well. So talk to me, baby, okay? New beginnings, new abundance is coming in. You're going to have a lot of confidence towards new shit, all right? So let's see what's going on to my lovely Taurus. Romance angels off top. Here we go. Taurus for the weekend. Okay, we have stay optimistic about your love life and hold on. Uh oh, passion. Passion came out. Also, Decepticon. So be aware of that deception that might be coming out for some of you guys or whoever it is you're dealing with. But I see that there is some passion here, darling. And you could be calling in your soulmates or reconnecting with your soulmate for some of you all. But be aware that there's like this iffy, ori, iffy, ori type of vibe, okay, Taurus. Um, I feel like somebody is definitely wearing a, soft, a false mask. So be aware of that. And with that being said, let's see what the messages uh, from the psychic tarot have to say. It says, um, okay, new vitality. All right. So some of you all definitely could be uh, having some new belief or some new success that could be coming in for you. All right. Also could be uh, somebody who might have to take the lead. Here, so someone's needing to take a new beginning, a new step in a better direction that you're needing to believe and actually fall through on it, okay? Um, because things could be changing up for you, is what I'm seeing here, Taurus. So let's see what's going down. Let's see what Tarot has to say. Here we go. All right, off top with you, I feel like you're kind of turning down. Some sort of offers that you're not really feeling. You got the judgment energy, also the four of cups. So I feel with this vibe, you're kind of, you know, shutting shit down, shutting these offers down as well. Um, I do feel like there's definitely like this. It's like a resistance is what I'm seeing here. So 
It could be that you're needing to trust and believe what's going to happen, right? It could be dealing with a Libra as well. Let's see. Between you and your partner, I'm feeling like there's a lot of love between you two. Ten of Cups, energy, very, very. So somebody could be shooting out some love offers, some love messages with the Ace of Cups, uh, the Page of Cups, and also the Page of Principles. I'm sorry. Also with the um, Emperor energy, I feel someone is getting ready to make some major moves, but they're afraid that there could be some things that um, someone is breaking free into their independence where they have a lot of regrets. But there is some new money moves that could be coming in, so be aware of your partner or somebody who's, you know, kind of sticking around for that. So be aware of, you know, being disheartened or being unhappy, Taurus, with your partner's motives and moves. What you don't see is uh, there's someone who's flying here with the Page of Swords, Six of Cups, could be someone from your past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, open this bitch. Also, Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius. So what you don't see is someone is definitely making some new moves. Um, it could be that they're planning some things behind your back or they're also just, you know, making impulsive decisions. Yeah, especially with this Knight of Swords coming in, somebody is really kind of like having to put up this fight or there's a fight, you know, that they feel they might have to reach out and touch and sock somebody. <laughs> so they feel kind of angry, you know, or they're feeling a little disappointed. Um, I feel what you don't see, there's going to be clarity that somebody's letting go. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Somebody's going to be letting go very soon. All right. This is what you don't see. I'm also seeing here, um, there could be a lot of detaching, uh, a lot of like being detached, but wanting some obsessive things or patterns and behaviors and toxic things. Cause that's what the devil represents to me is, you know, patterns and behaviors that we haven't caught, gotten over. Uh, but you're also detached with this King of Swords, or this could be your person who is detached, who's putting their foot down, okay? Um, I do feel like somebody could be traveling away as well with the Six of Swords energy here, so be mindful of that. But Taurus, I feel possible outcomes. There's somebody who um, wants to have an offer coming towards you. Be aware of this person and their motives and shit, all right? Uh, they could be having some issues, um, you know, with bringing in a new passion or bringing things together. It could be having some phallic issues, whatever. But uh, this person is definitely a player. Like, they want to come out of the cold, but they're also, you know, be aware of this energy of this person stealing time on one hand or stealing, you know, um, setting himself up for a booby trap. All right? Setting themselves up for a fuck up. Uh, but I feel like there's a final decision for some of you guys, on the other hand, where someone is wanting to make a love offer. Now, for some of you all, there's a new beginning that's going to be hard to take off, but they kind of want this too, so be aware of that, okay? Uh, could be a lot of um, conversations or things that are going missed or, you know, they're going untalked about, but um, someone is definitely wanting to make an action towards you, okay? We have possible Scorpio here, a restart of some sort. Also, with the Knight of Wands, making a major action could be somebody who's moving all at the same time, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, if you need to get a personal read for me, hit that description box down below. Check out my website, lorelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, my love, make sure you take out the four questions for $25. should be down in the description box down below. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.